I'm Wolfie Beamer, and on today's episode of How to Be an Adult, we're going to be talking about moving out. The easiest way to move out is to be born into mad privilege. That way, your parents can buy you a house and you can live in sustained comfort. The second easiest way is to have very little privilege at all. At best, it's enough to propel yourself to uni, only to come home to find that your parents have downsized to raise a bit of cash and got rid of your bedroom. It hurts. Trust me. Patience is a virtue, and you're going to need it with your new housemates. So I strongly recommend moving in with someone that you don't really like. Chances are that relationship is going to be completely ruined by the end of the tenancy. Living with a couple can actually be quite handy. They pay half the rent just because they can't bear to be a short distance away. Couples can also have a calming, familial effect on the house. They might cook for you or clean the whole house because that's all they do for fun now. On the flip, if it goes sour, you have to do a constant arguing, one of them moves out and then your lounge suddenly becomes a hinge waiting room. And maybe to save drama, you can assess the strength of the relationship before you sign the contract. And unless you're a hippie with unexplainable amounts of cash, don't move into a warehouse. So they say moving house is the most stressful thing you can do in your life. Luckily, we're born at a time where we have to do it annually. And in the arduous process of moving, you quickly realise that your worldly possessions are completely disposable. So it turns out that the IKEA desk that you bought thinking it'd be a lifetime investment doesn't fit through your front door or anywhere in your new room unless you put it on your new bed. Soon it will just be you, a change of clothes and your passport to prove you exist. Stop thinking you're going to get your deposit back. You're not getting it back. That lipstick stain on the wall, 500 quid. The blue tack stains on the other wall, 600 quid. The fag burn on the windowsill, 25 grand. Think about your deposit as money being thrown into a black hole. That way, when you get 50 quid back, it's a bonus. It's a simple mental trick to help you get over the misery of being exploited.